In our risk assessments, we identify our major accidents and the barriers in place to prevent, control or mitigate them. These can be categorised as people, plant or process. Plant barriers are the physical equipment, including software, that we have on our installations. If a plant barrier's failure can cause or contribute substantially to a major accident, then it is classified as a safety and environmental critical element, or a SECI. Examples of SECIs include the primary structure, blowout preventers, the emergency shutdown system, or lifeboats. Offshore law in the UK requires all SECIs to be defined within the safety case, and then for performance standards to be developed further. These tell us what a SECI's function is, when it should be available, how reliable it needs to be, what events it should survive, and finally, how it interacts with other SECIs or temporary equipment. We must ensure that SECIs remain fit for purpose throughout the life of an installation and function when required to do so. We do this by conducting routine maintenance as well as assurance where we test specific parts of the SECI's functionality. The results of these are recorded within the maintenance management system. Every maintenance and assurance activity should have a clearly defined failure criteria. We usually define these within the performance standards. There is a further legal requirement within the safety case regulations to have the maintenance and assurance of SECIs verified by an independent, competent person, commonly referred to as the ICP or simply the verifier. It's the operator or the duty holder that carries out maintenance and assurance, whilst it's the ICP that carries out verification. This is a check of a sample of maintenance and assurance activities. The size and nature of the verifier's tasks are documented within a written scheme of examination, which may be included along with the performance standards. The verifier doesn't review or approve any work, they merely perform this independent legal requirement. The verifier's findings must be responded to and addressed within a suitable time frame. Should a SECI fail or become degraded, it must be risk assessed as soon as possible to determine if it is safe to continue operating and to define any temporary measures that should be put in place. This risk assessment should involve the correct people, which may include senior management, and should be communicated to all appropriate personnel. This risk assessment should consider the cumulative risk presented by the failure of multiple SECIs together. The health of all SECIs is usually presented within a process safety performance dashboard. The impact to SECIs should also be considered as part of any management of change and the verifier should also be engaged as part of this assessment.